Hi, my beloved brothers and sisters. This is John, and uh, today I just have a message about the most important thing that we need to know as Christians, as believers, and uh, what that is and why it's so important. But before I do, uh, let's just pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, God, that there's so much for us to uh, learn and to know in this life so that we can grow and develop in it and so that it can become uh, a part of our lives so that we can live in it and move in it <coughs> and so that it can have a, a place in our lives so that we can, um, you know, get great gain wisdom and intellect and uh, skills and abilities and uh, all these things do the things that we know got them. And uh, so we just give you praise and glory for all these things. And I just pray that you just help us in Jesus' name uh, and just give us the spirit of, of wisdom uh, so that we might know all these things better in Jesus' name. Amen. So lately I've been talking about uh, teach uh, about learning about God's Word and about I made a message about the school of the Holy Spirit. And, in you know, in our lives as Christians and just as people in general we're, we're always learning and there's so much that we need to know from when we're a kid all the way up until we become adults we go to school because we need to know things in society it's required that we know things and as believers uh, it's no different uh, there's so many things that we need to know in the faith uh, we need to know, you know, sound doctrine. We need to know how to live the Christian life. We need to know, you know, what our calls are. There's so many things that we need to know. And uh, we learn these things over time. If we're diligent, we stay at it, and we stay focused, and we learn, you know, because we need to. Or else we would just be pretty much just unknowledgeable, you know, and we wouldn't really be very useful to minister to other people if we didn't even know what we were talking about, you know, think about that. But I just want to go to this scripture here that I got pulled up on my phone. And it says here on, uh, uh, let's see, it's Ephesians 1 and 17. And it says here that uh, it says, and this is Paul talking now. He says, I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation so that you may know him better. So that you may know him better. So as you can see, Paul was praying that God would give them the spirit of wisdom and that he would give them revelation, but not so that they could know more, more Bible verses or more scripture or more doctrines or more theology. That's not what he, in that prayer, he wanted them to have wisdom and revelation so that they might know God better, so that they might know him and of all the things in life that we can know as believers, there's one thing that's more important than everything altogether. And that's that we might know God in an intimate and personal way, in a relationship, uh, heart to heart and spirit to spirit, that we might know him. And that we might uh, grow closer to him in communion and in fellowship. That we might know God more. You know, like if you have family or if you have a brother and sister or if you have a wife. Uh, you uh, know them and you, as you grow closer, you know them more. You know what their interests are. You know what they like. You know what's on their mind uh, when they're talking to you. Uh, you know the, what they're all about. You get to know them. Uh, as uh, in a relationship and God is no different now I did a video teaching recently about who God is and one of those things was that God was a spirit and in a spiritual way God would like to have a spiritual heart-to-heart -heart fellowship and communion with each one of us individually in our lives and he would like 
He would like to uh, love us and to be loved by us so that we can grow and develop in intimacy and in communion with God. And through this intimacy, and through this fellowship, and through this communion, and this relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ, and with God the Father, and with the Holy Spirit as one, we have a communion and a relationship with God so that we might know Him more so that we might get to know the way he feels about things, how the way the Holy Spirit feels about things. We become sensitive to his presence, sensitive to his heart, sensitive to uh, his, uh, his desires. They start to become our desires. They start to work in our hearts, and we get to have this internal, intimate, and personal relationship with God so that we might know him more. And through that, God begins to work as we, you know, read the scripture, as we... Uh, commune with other brothers and sisters as we seek him with all of our hearts in a true and in sincere way god begins to start to by his spirit open up our minds and open under our understandings and he begins to reveal other things to us through intimacy and through relationship revelation starts to come to us wisdom starts to come to us he starts to open up things that you didn't know about you know uh the things of god you start to see these things he begins to teach you and show you and reveal himself to you uh, and his plans to you and his, uh, his heart to you. And he teaches you his ways and so that you can be in his will. And this all comes from actually having an intimate and personal relationship with God. You get to know him. There's so many things that people want to know. You know, and you can find this in all these Christians. They have so many different doctrines and so many different theologies and so many different denominations and so many different this and that. And then they all get separated into it. And you'll oftentimes find a lot of Christians who uh, emphasize doctrine and they have so many, so much doctrine. But uh, if, if, if you're discerning, you can tell how is there deep and personal and intimate spiritual relationship with God. That's what that's where that's where the rubber meets the road. You can know the scripture and you can know the doctrines and you can know them like the back of your hand. But if you don't know the God intimately and personally who breathed those words to life, then you don't know much. And so what Paul prayed is he prayed that we might have the spirit of wisdom and of revelation so that we might know God. And that's my prayer for you, that you might have the spirit of wisdom and of revelation so that you might know him more. And this is so important because every other thing, and I've done other videos about this, every other thing, that comes into your life, into the into your life as a Christian, uh, your call, the things you're called to, the wisdom that you gain, uh, the anointing on your life, uh, every other area comes from a relationship with God. And the most important thing that you can know as a Christian is God, personally and intimately in your life, as your father, you know, as your friend, as your Lord and as your Savior. And as the lover of your soul, who loves you more than anything, so love him in return and receive of his love and receive of his spirit and grow and develop in this relationship so that you might know him like you know your best friend or like you know your wife or your mother. But this is your father and this is your father in heaven. And there's nothing more important than knowing the father of your soul from whom all truth and wisdom and revelation flow out from so that's the message the message is that you get to know him god the creator of heaven and earth and this is the most important thing that you need to know as a christian you need to know god and you need to get to know him more and develop in a relationship with him you know, you can learn from your pastor, but you cannot have a relationship with God through your pastor. You can't. You can't have a relationship 
with God through anybody but you and your heart and your soul and your spirit having an intimate personal relationship and communion with God. And so I encourage you to get to know him more. Just like Paul said, I say the same. And so I just love you guys and I just bless you guys. And I just pray that, you know, God will give each one of you who have heard this message the spirit of wisdom and of revelation so that you might know him better. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. So I just love you and I bless you all. In Jesus' name.